Okay, so this is um, what Xian Xi Lian Hui. Is that right? Mm. Oh, very interesting. Mm. So they've got two testing stations, and this is for testing the internet connection. Whereas the station over here is more connecting the the phone call through Bluetooth. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, over the other side. Other so they're making the another I, I, type. I think that they are the same. Ah. Because because today we we only do the four kids the GPS the charter. Uh, today we do only only one product. Oh. Okay. So interesting. Okay. Oh, I asked for why they are all Yeah. Yeah, and said this is the working shoe, so no need to do the. Oh, because the slippers already stay inside the battery. Ah, okay, that's good. All right, yeah. Control channel. Ah, the mobile testing. So this is um, the testing for the cores and things like that. Okay, very good. And the battery? Battery is the Chinese battery. But we buy from China. Maybe, maybe other factories and the other. Not, yeah, not under, China. Uh, understand. So normally, when you charge this smart yeah. watch up, how long, how many days how it many work for? Days, uh, may, it's about uh, one week. One week? Yeah. Oh, that's a long time. Seven days. That's a long time. Uh -huh. Yeah, like my smartwatch will last for maybe four days, five days. I, I, th I think the battery is about uh, 120 milliamps. Yes. Ah, uh, and because yours? My battery is. I, I show you. Ah, yes. Ah, yeah. huh? oh, 400 mph. Wait a minute, over here. Ah, ah, so 400, ah, 3.7 volts, ah, so it lasts for one week, wow, that's very good, mm. very good, yeah, interesting, wow, ah, okay, oh. ah, so this is more the, uh, Assembly of the looks like the eye eye watch, doesn't it? Yeah. This is uh, for watch, and the this is watch you can take a photo. Oh, ah. Yeah. Okay. Now you can take a photo. Ah. Okay. So take a photo here. Ah. Click. click, click. Ah. Oh, okay. oh, that's the that's the actual camera. Camera. Ah. Camera. Oh, very good. Excellent. We'll have, have to get one of them. <laughs> okay, so this is really good. So we've seen the storeroom, we've seen receiving. Yeah. So they're separated and got receiving inspection yeah. and then the assembly. So a question about, um, I noticed that the receiving inspection of raw materials. So for example, is the batteries tested before they put in the phone? Do they test a sample of the batteries? Uh, Oh, yes. yeah. Very good. Interesting. I'm, I like the solder thing. That's very important. Yes, they're all connected. Ah, oh, and IQC. Yeah. IQC. Quality control, is it? Ah, raw materials testing is in this room. Ah, so they're receiving inspection yeah. testing. Yes, oh, and very testing here. Oh, and very then good. Then Hanhao. Go to the assembly line. Wow, Hanhao. Landy. Yeah. This is very good. <laughs> yeah, because you um, a lot of fact, you know, you're controlling the input materials is very critical. I think the foreign buyer would like to know that. So we, we so we our products not to match bad brand. Yeah, because sometimes you if you have um, if you have problem with your product, sometimes it's caused by the material, not your assembly. Yeah. Yes. So very good. Thank you. Yes. Hi, it's Neil again. We've gone between the first and second factory today. Now, the, the first factory we visited this morning was so interesting because it was uh, a startup less than two years ago by the owner who once worked for a smartphone company and also video production company 
and he's more in design. So he's a, he left that and actually gone and started up his own factory. This factory is very interesting because they had five production lines and they were doing about 1,000 smart watches a day. You know, the uh, smart watch like the Fitbit or the uh, Apple Watch. Well, this is very similar, but for one quarter of the price. Okay, their highest, their best product is 260 yuan. So you can see that's much cheaper than the average uh, high-end watch that you buy in the US market, or Australian market, or other belt markets. So it's very interesting that uh, most of their sales were domestic, 70% of sales, and their sales from the US and Europe were actually less than what it had been in the past. And so their mo main customers now from overseas are coming from Spain and Southeast Asia. What was very interesting about the production was to see that they had total separation of the receiving goods room, the quality control room, and also the returns room, goods returns room. And what was very interesting was that the goods returns was really focused on the raw material returns or the actual input goods return, not the output. So I thought that was very nice that they had that set up because often that is a very important sign of good quality control or management of the production process, especially from a quality standpoint. All right, so if you have good quality going in, it's just likely going to bad quality at the other end after assembly is completed. The, what was another interesting thing was ask them about compliance. They have CE and FCC. They didn't have FCC, and one of the reasons was that they found it was too expensive. And so I'm thinking that if you are buying for a US market, you do have to ship, buy from suppliers that have FCC accreditation. Otherwise, you run the risk of customs in the US seizing your goods and actually fining you. Now, if it's just a small shipment, you're going to get away with that. But over time, as your shipments grow, it's very important to have a supplier that have FCC certification. So that's on the buyer. Ultimately, if the supplier doesn't have it, but their reason for not having it was it was just too expensive for the size of the market that they had in terms of sales to the US. And finally, the number one challenge, of course, as a challenge for a lot of factories in China now, and that is sales. And they're looking at the domestic sales of 70%. They're seeing more growth there at the moment. And they're also selling through Weibo and other online marketplaces in China. So there you have it. That's the uh, smartwatch factory that we've just been to. And now we're going off to a gifts manufacturer where they actually make anything little that few people value to buy in a soup, to buy in a shop. But of course, your eyes light up when you actually are giving it to you through a banquet or as a present or some other um, company function. Okay, so we'll catch you in the next factory. And here's Neil signing off from Sunjin, halfway between Factory 1 and Factory 2.